Hello parents and caregivers, sleepless nights? Is your baby having trouble falling asleep? If so, know that you're not alone. Many families struggle with this very issue, and it can be incredibly frustrating. Not only can it affect your baby's mood and development, but it can also lead to exhaustion for you. But don't worry, we have a solution for you. Creating a baby sleep schedule. Let's dive in. Why is a baby sleep schedule so important, you might ask? Well, establishing a sleep schedule for your little one is not just about getting them to snooze through the night. It's about setting the foundation for their growth, development, and overall well-being. You see, sleep plays a critical role in the healthy development of babies. During those precious hours of sleep, their little bodies are busy growing and their brains are actively processing the world around them. It's during sleep that babies consolidate memories, learn new skills, and their immune system is strengthened. So ensuring your baby gets the right amount of sleep is crucial to their cognitive, physical, and emotional development. But the benefits extend beyond your little one. A consistent baby sleep schedule can also provide some much needed predictability for you as parents. It can help you plan your day around your baby's sleep times, offering opportunities for you to rest, recharge, or tackle other tasks. Plus, knowing your baby is well-rested can give you peace of mind and reduce stress. A baby sleep schedule also helps to regulate your baby's internal body clock or circadian rhythm, promoting better sleep quality and longer sleep periods. It's the key to helping your little one transition from multiple naps to longer stretches of sleep at night. So, with these benefits in mind, Let's move on to how you can create a successful baby sleep schedule. A key step in creating a baby sleep schedule is establishing a bedtime routine. This routine is a powerful tool that signals to your baby that it's time to wind down, transition from the activities of the day, and prepare for a restful night's sleep. Think of the bedtime routine as a gentle countdown to lights out. It starts with calming, soothing activities to help your little one relax. This could include a warm bath, a quiet cuddle, or a gentle massage. These activities not only help to relax your baby, but also provide a wonderful opportunity for bonding. Next, consider incorporating a bedtime story or lullaby into your routine. This can serve as a comforting and familiar signal that sleep is near. It's also a beautiful way to nurture your baby's love of language and music from an early age. Then, it's time for the final steps of the routine. The ones that happen in the room where your baby will sleep. This might be a last diaper change, putting on pajamas or a final goodnight kiss. These steps should be peaceful and predictable to reinforce the message that it's time to sleep. It's worth noting that a bedtime routine isn't one size fits all. Every baby is unique and what works for one may not work for another. So feel free to experiment and tailor the routine to suit your baby's needs and temperament. If your baby seems to be resisting sleep, don't despair. It's perfectly normal for babies to take some time to adjust to a new routine. Be patient and persistent. Before long, your baby will start to associate the bedtime routine with sleep and will begin to settle more easily. Remember, consistency is key in a bedtime routine. Try to carry out the same activities, in the same order, at the same time every night. This predictability can help your baby understand and anticipate what's coming next, making the transition to sleep smoother and more peaceful. And that's it. You're well on your way to establishing a bedtime routine that can help your baby settle into a consistent sleep schedule. Happy dreaming. Next up, it's crucial to recognize your baby's sleep cues. So what exactly are sleep cues? These are signals your little one gives that indicate they are ready to catch some Zs. Just like adults yawn and stretch when we're tired, babies have their own unique ways of showing they need sleep. One of the most common sleep cues is yawning. If your baby is yawning, that's a clear sign they are ready for a nap or bedtime. But don't wait for a yawn to put your baby down. By the time they yawn, they might already be overtired, which can make it harder for them to fall asleep. Rubbing eyes is another telltale sign. When your baby starts rubbing their eyes, it's their way of saying, I'm tired and I need to rest. This is a good time to start your bedtime routine and prepare your baby for sleep. Becoming fussy or irritable can also indicate that your baby is ready for sleep. If your usually cheerful baby suddenly becomes fussy and nothing seems to soothe them, it might be a sign they need a nap. Decreased activity and loss of interest are other cues to watch for. If your baby is less active and not as interested in their toys or surroundings, it's time to put them down for a sleep. Remember, each baby is unique and may show different sleep cues. The key is to observe and learn your baby's specific signals. This might take some time and patience, but it's worth it. Recognizing your baby's sleep cues can help ensure they are not overtired when put to bed. 
An overtired baby can be harder to settle and might wake up more frequently during the night. So, understanding your baby's sleep cues can lead to better sleep for both of you. By recognizing these cues, you can make bedtime a lot smoother. So keep a watchful eye for these signs. Your baby is telling you they're ready to dream, and it's our job as caregivers to help them do just that. Now, let's talk about creating a sleep-friendly environment. Creating an environment conducive to sleep is pivotal in establishing a consistent baby sleep schedule. The setting in which your little one sleeps can significantly influence their ability to fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. Think of the room your baby sleeps in as their sanctuary. It should be quiet, dark, and comfortable. These elements play a key role in promoting deep, restful sleep. Let's start with noise control. A quiet environment is less likely to disturb your baby's sleep. However, it's not always possible to eliminate all noise. This is where white noise or sound machines can be a game changer. They produce a consistent, soothing hum that masks disruptive sounds, creating a calming, sleep-inducing atmosphere. Next, let's consider light. Darkness signals to our brains that it's time to sleep. This is no different for babies. Blackout curtains or blinds can be a great investment, helping create a dark environment even during the day. Nightlights can be used, but opt for a dim, warm glow, rather than a bright, cool light, which can be more stimulating. Temperature is another crucial factor. Just like us, babies sleep best in a room that's cool, but not cold. A good rule of thumb is to aim for a room temperature of around 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. And don't forget about comfort. Your baby's crib should be firm and free from excessive bedding, pillows, or stuffed animals, which can pose a safety risk. A simple fitted sheet is all you need. Lastly, consider incorporating calming scents, like lavender, into your baby's bedtime routine. Research suggests that certain aromas can promote relaxation and sleep. However, always ensure that any scent used is safe and suitable for babies. By paying attention to these elements, you can transform your baby's sleeping area into a tranquil haven that encourages restful slumber. With the perfect sleep-friendly environment, your baby is one step closer to a good night's sleep. Finally, remember, consistency is key. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, it's all about sticking to the same bedtime and wake-up time every day. Yes, that includes weekends too. You see, our bodies operate on an internal clock known as the circadian rhythm. This rhythm is a 24-hour cycle that regulates our sleep and wakefulness. For your little one, establishing a regular sleep schedule aligns with this natural rhythm. When bedtime and wake-up time are consistent, it helps regulate your baby's internal clock. This means your baby will start to feel sleepy around their bedtime and wake up naturally at their wake-up time. But consistency is not just about the clock, it's also about maintaining a steady routine. The bedtime rituals, the naptime strategies, all the little things that signal to your baby that it's time to sleep should be consistent. This way, your baby knows what to expect, which can make the transition to sleep much smoother. Now we understand that life can be unpredictable. There might be days when sticking to the schedule seems impossible. But don't worry, occasional deviations won't throw everything off course. Just try to get back to your routine as soon as you can. With consistency, you'll see your baby's sleep habits improve significantly. So, hold on to that patience and keep up the good work. You're doing great! And that's it! You're now equipped with the knowledge to create a successful baby sleep schedule. We've explored the importance of establishing a bedtime routine, recognizing sleep cues, and creating a sleep-friendly environment. And most importantly, we've emphasized the key role of consistency in regulating your baby's internal clock. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more parenting tips. Remember, a well-rested baby is a happy baby.